Welcome back to Barbecue with Greg. Let's put that meat on the grill. Let's get started. Okay, welcome back barbecue friends. Today, I wanna to show you how I smoke pickerel here on the Kamado. So I got the coals lit. I got some nice embers going. Now I just wanna add a couple of pieces of cherry wood. There, like that. Okay, we'll set our upper vent here to about one and then the bottom we'll leave like two sets of holes Okay, now we'll just let those temperatures level out. I want to try to cook this about just over 200 degrees So I got these great pickerel fillets for my friend Mike and thanks Mike for those the last batch I smoked for him were so good we had to do it again so first I took the fillets and I cut them into smaller pieces. Then I made a dry brine, about two tablespoons of brown sugar and about one tablespoon of table salt. I put all those pieces into a Ziploc bag and they went into the fridge for about four hours. Okay, here they are. So you can see all the liquid in the bag there. So a lot of liquid came out of the uh, fish. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring these in the house. I'm gonna wash it in the tap, rinse some of that brine off. Then I'll bring them back out and we'll get them on the grill. Okay, we got our fillets here. They're all rinsed and I pat them with some paper towel a little bit. Still a little bit wet, but that's okay. I got a tablespoon, maybe just over a tablespoon of brown sugar again. Sprinkle that in there. Then I got this hot killer hogs barbecue rub. This has a bit of a spicy note, but also a little bit of a sweet note. So I figured it'll go well on this fish. Mix that up. Take some parchment paper and lay it on the grill. Okay, we're just gonna let these smoke and do the thing for about an hour. We'll come back and check, and then we'll do the next step. When you use a dry brine like that, especially on fish, it helps firm up those pieces. It also adds a little bit of flavor. You're gonna taste some of that sweetness, a little bit of that salt. So it's important to wash it off. You're gonna get a little bit of sweetness too from the smoke. Fishing season's starting. Everybody's out fishing. I figured I'd share with you a different way of cooking these fish. Hopefully I can show you by smoking it like this. It's pretty darn good too. So we'll check back in an hour or so and we'll do the next step. Okay, it's been one hour here. Let's check these out, see what we got. You can see I got a temperature just under 250 here. I ended up cutting, I ended up cutting my bottom vent to one set of holes. Just to kind of make sure I don't go too crazy. I did that about 15 minutes into the cook. Okay, let's open this up. Okay, you can see we got some nice coloration from the smoke there. Now what I'm looking for, I want to take a lot of the humidity out of these. So I just want to make sure they're dry on top. And then I'll flip these. So let me show you how I do that. So I'll take this. Okay, I got them all flipped over there. Now they're right on the grill. We'll close the lid. We're 
gonna wait another half hour and they should be good to go. What I'm looking for is I just want the whole exterior of that fish to be nice and dry all around and we should be good. Okay, we are another half hour into this cook. It's time to take this off. Okay, here we are. It's all cooked off the barbecue. You can see, got a nice dry texture on both sides. Pulls apart. You see, still see some of that flakiness. Let's give it a bite. Mmm, okay. Wow. Got nice texture on the outside. Bite right through. That's just delicious on its own. Yeah, I tried to, I thought I'd amp it up a little bit here. So I got some crackers, some cream cheese. Okay, eating that fish straight, you really taste the smokiness. It's got a really nice mouth feel. It just kind of breaks apart. You taste that smoke, you taste that barbecue rub. It's got a really nice flavor. So on its own, tastes pretty good. Let's put some cream cheese on a cracker. Put a feed, piece of fish on there. Put a slice of tomato. And a piece of cucumber. Because why not? Mmm. If you're wondering different ways you could cook your pickerel or your walleye or any fish, try smoking it like this. It tastes great, makes a nice great snack. Well, if you found this video helpful, I hope you click that like button. You want to see more cooks like this, click that subscribe and we'll see you next time on Barbecue with Greg. Thanks for watching Barbecue with Greg. One of those barbecue cooking shows people watch on YouTube sometimes.